There you are. I was looking for you. I need a favor. Yes, it's an unusual favor. My father sent a messenger. He wants me to return to Fraldarius territory. Rodriga Shil Fraldarius, the highest ranking member of the Fargus nobility. But about the favor, you're familiar with the tragedy of Dusker, I presume? Warriors from Dusker killed King Lambert of Fargus. After the king's death, public order disintegrated. Bandits continued to raid villages across the kingdom, including those within Fraldarius territory. My father says he needs my help driving the bandits away. Precisely. Good guess. Perhaps I shouldn't pull you into this. It stems from my family's failure to secure the region. But honestly, I want to see you in action. I never tire of watching you fight, and it'll be much more interesting for you than the training ground. Or maybe this task, driving off bandits, seems dull to a former mercenary? Excellent! While I'm at it, I have a second favor to ask. Could you recruit more fighters? I bet there will be willing volunteers if you're the one inviting them. I'll set off on my own and meet up with you then.
struggling to defeat some bandits? What a pathetic old man my father is. Some villagers are trapped. Let's help them escape. Felix, my son, you finally brought reinforcements. Stay focused. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. <laughs> Only a fool challenges me. The sun. Fine. Good people of this hamlet, escape where you can. That should put a stop to their reinforcements. Thank you. Ah! 
Apologies. Is that? Luck is always on my side. Your defeat was inevitable. Only a fool challenges me. The stronghold is ours. No more bandits should come crawling out of here. Let's think carefully. is always on my side. Ask me. Well, how was that? 
makes it past me. Yet. That should do it. We've chased those ruffians away for good. Thank you so much for your assistance. Please accept this small gift as thanks. We are grateful for your help. I doubt those bandits will stop anytime soon, but at least this village is safe. This village was important to the late king. If we hadn't saved it, I wouldn't have been able to face his majesty. How foolish. Pardon? We were protecting your subjects, not your ego. I don't give a damn as to whether you can bring yourself to face a dead king. I will not tolerate such language from you. I came here to hone my blade and to save innocent people. I suppose if I had died, you would say the same thing you did after Glenn's death. He died like a true knight. I have nothing more to say. I'm going back. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. He's been that way for four years now. I don't suppose you'd care to hear about it. I lost a son in the tragedy of Dusker, Felix's older brother, Glenn. To this day, I'm proud of Glenn. He gave his life to protect Prince Dimitri. If he had abandoned his highness and fled, I don't know that I could have forgiven him. I would have been deeply ashamed. But no one would have been more ashamed than Glenn himself. It was in his nature to be noble and true. As a knight serving the royal family, his duty was to be loyal to the end even if it meant his life. If he had abandoned that duty and survived the incident, there's no way he could have lived on in peace. Felix can't understand that. He's young and foolish. Of course, I understand his sentiment, to some extent. It all comes down to, well, a difference of opinion. So that's how you feel about it. How fortunate Felix is to have met someone like you. There's nothing as heartening as having someone around who really understands you. He's an odd boy, thick-headed in some ways, but he's my son all the same. I'm glad he has you to look after him. The last time, Flane, the answer is no. You are departing for the Rhodos Coast, are you not? I must come. 
you will do no such thing. I am not going there to pay respects at the cemetery, but to do battle. With you there, I will be beside myself with worry. It will be easier for me to fight if I know you are safe. But I must! Oh, professor, you have come at just the right time. I only wish to make a small request. My dear brother is about to set forth on a most dangerous mission. Indeed. The Western Church is attempting to seize sacred ground by force. With this action, they are no longer merely believers of a different creed. They are a dangerous threat that cannot be ignored. We cannot allow the holy artifacts enshrined there to fall into their hands. I too wish to be of use to the Church. And I do admit, I am terribly worried about my brother. No matter my protests, he will not allow me to come. Professor, this is where you can help. Will you accompany us both on this expedition? If you are there to protect me, my brother's fears will be allayed. Isn't that right, brother? I suppose your aid would indeed be useful, yes. I knew it! Please, Professor, will you join us? Wonderful. Let us depart at once. Who defile our goddess? The sacred coast belongs to us, the Western Church. 
You are the heretics. Be gone from here at once. Silence, dog of the apostates. Prepare to receive our righteous blade. I will recapture the monument. Everyone else should focus on removing the surrounding enemies. Wait, brother. I shall accompany you. I will prevail. That's my cue. Winning's always nice. Oh no. Let us away. As you wish. Ferdinand von Eyre. This was beneath me. I will get the victory. Guide me well. Stay focused. More success. <laughs> Only a fool challenges me.
defeat me, left. to their demise. Witness Bridget Pride. Hard work created. Our duty to work. What did I expect? This strength will serve Lady Edelgard. Simple logic. But it was for the sake of... I won't go down so easily. of the goddess. Goddess grants me. I 
Sped a weakling to their demise. Flame Spirit, protect me. Apologies. Always getting strong. We're no match for them. Brothers, retreat. Do you dare compound your crimes further? There will be no escape for you! The goddess protects us. We will never yield to the likes of you. Goddess, have you abandoned us? That is the last of them. Flane, will you place some flowers at the monument? Of course, brother. That is what I came here to do. Your assistance is most appreciated. I can only hope that the Western Church will now see reason and abandon this place. But just to be safe, I have retrieved the holy artifacts. We cannot risk them falling into their hands. I will entrust them to you. I must confess, despite the situation, it was a pleasure to return here. This coast has a certain sentimental significance to my sister and me. Yes. This stone monument is not merely here to commemorate St. Keyhole. It is also the grave of my wife. You are safe now, Mother. Finally, you may find peace. earned the right to know, but this must remain between us. Flame is actually my daughter. 
my late wife and her mother are the same person. And here I thought we had hidden it skillfully. There are many who would seek to harm Flame due to the unique blood she bears. Falsifying her identity is necessary to conceal her from such individuals. Mercifully, I happen to look quite young for my age. We make rather convincing siblings, do we not? Mother loved the coast so much. She and I came here together often. Fishing was her favorite pastime. I used to sit and watch while she cast her line. I remember it fondly. You did so love to eat the fish she caught as well. Fish is my favorite food, it is true. Doing no small part to Mother. I still come here to fish from time to time, using the skills my wife taught me. It reminds me how deeply I appreciate those years, and how I wish I could return to them. We cannot turn back the clock, Father. We must live our lives fully, in the present moment. <sighs> You're right. That is what she always said, isn't it? Dwell too much on the past, and you may be unable to move forward. Come then. Let us return home. Goodbye, Mother. I love you. I shall bring flowers again for you next time.
Professor. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to the Academy-wide dance competition. Welcome to the White Heron Cup. The competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rangel, and also the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Manuela Casa Granda. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir Navran. Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well. Begin! That's all, folks! Splendid! All three of you were fantastic! <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my, let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Golden Deer House. Keep practicing and you could really shine out there. I vote for... Black Eagle House. The way you carried yourself is striking. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion, yes, we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now, without any delay. The winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Black Eagle House! I wonder if I can use this to bolster my singing career. Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. for you. I'd love it if you would add me to your class. I can just tell that studying under you every day would be such a treat. Wow, really? Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I hope to learn a lot from you. Thank you. Our professor is certainly adventurous, but I wonder what the point was of putting us on the same team. What? You think teaming up with me is a bad idea? Yes. Results or no results, this is far from a great idea. What a splendid result! I am rather proud of myself, I must say. Is that so? In any case, I think it's time for a break. I'm getting closer. I won't forget all I've learned. I will master this. It's starting to take sh Let's put this to the test. I work to grow. Well, that worked out. Well worth the effort. I appreciate your effort.
I've passed, have I? Caspar, hmm. I've been wondering something. Would you be happier if you were the heir to House Burglies? Of course! My brother probably wouldn't be too happy about it, though. I've got nothing against him, and I'd hate to cause him trouble, so I guess it wouldn't make me very happy at all. You may not want to hear this, but your brother is not a good man. He's lazy and greedy, and has always relied on the knowledge that he would inherit a title. That's my impression of him, anyway. <laughs> you don't hold anything back, do you? But to be honest, you're not too far off. He's got good reason for it, though. Our grandfather was really obsessed with his second wife. She has a son who she really wanted to become the heir. In the end, though, my grandfather had to step down sooner than expected, so everything went to my father instead. My brother is still really worried about having his future taken from him. That's the price of taking your own desires into account when choosing an heir. The concept of nobility is decaying, and it's dragging the Empire into the ground with it. Wow, this conversation is really going there. You may be right, but it's not like the world is ever going to change, right? It must. I intend to create a world where the best are free to rise to the top and succeed, regardless of their bloodline. The nobility as it is now could not exist in a world like that. I'll make sure of it. What do you think would happen to me in that kind of world? Would you appoint me as a general or minister of military affairs? If you were the best suited for that position, I would. Right, so my life would pretty much stay the same. I'd still have to train, get stronger, and use my abilities to cut my own path. I don't know what I'm gonna do after we graduate. I guess I'll just have to fight for you. Is that so? At the base, the front lines, or wherever we might be fighting, I'll be there with all my might. <laughs> I can't believe it. How can I show my face to Lady Edelgard after this? That's what you get, Hubert. If you rested like me, you wouldn't collapse from exhaustion. As much as it pains me to say it, you're right. But to be looked after by you of all people that might be the worst part of this i don't know how to feel to be honest so for now let's pretend i thanked you oh come now even i wouldn't abandon someone who collapsed you would have in a heartbeat if anyone else had been around ah yes quite accurate here why would i ever bother to be a decent person if there were anyone else i could foist the duty upon if your situation turned bad it would have been an absolute hassle i could never just leave you there if that were the sort of man you truly were we could never be friends <laughs> but if we weren't friends i probably would have just left you shame you're so reluctant to do any real work you are actually pretty good at this make sure i was comfortable checked carefully for injuries, even carried me here yourself. If only you'd apply that knowledge of yours so proactively and thoroughly all the time, you'd be a tremendous asset to the Empire. There you go again. I see no problem with staying just the way I am. But think of it this way. In an anthill, 20% of the ants are asleep at any given time. And it's not because they're lazy. Far from it. When the working ants become tired, they go to sleep and the others wake up. That's me. I'm the ant who rests so I can work later when other people are tired. Maybe that's true. But even if it is, it's still just a fancy way to say you let others do all the work. Consider me unconvinced. I'll consider you a bother and leave it at that. You and Edelgard work far too hard. I mean it. Take a break now and then. If you both collapsed, I think it'd be too much effort for me to bother with. Get some rest, Hubert. Not as much as me, of course. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Um, 
way. Well, well, if it isn't Bernadetta, what brings you here? Am I bothering you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'll come back another time. Well, don't leave yet, you just got here. Was there something you wanted to talk about? Uh, yes. Do you remember that time in town? In town? Oh, you mean when all those thieves showed up? <laughs> that was rough. I heard a bunch of people got robbed. No, not that. I mean the time I was... carried off. Some thieves tried to carry you off? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Just tell me which way they went. <laughs> I'm gonna... That's not what I mean. Oh, just forget it. Wait, don't go. What are you trying to ask me? Will you really listen this time? Of course. Sorry. You have my full attention. <sighs> Do you remember when you carried me to that spot with a really pretty view? Where is that place? I've been looking all over. The place I took you with a view? <gasps> oh, right! Okay, first you go out of the monastery, and... Actually, it's kind of tricky to explain. Come on, I'll just take you there again, but pay attention this time. Huh? Wait, what are you... No, not again! Ah, stop, put me down! Hello, Burn. Oh no, what did I do this time? Did I offend you? Is this your revenge? No, not at all. I just want to talk. If you promise not to resort to violence, I'll do whatever you want. Burn, I've just been worried about you, that's all. When I said I was your friend, you ran away, saying something about your father. Remember? Um, vaguely? I know you've lived through some bad times, if you could tell me about it, maybe I could help? Oh, I don't know. Please. Your father's not here now. Whatever it is, you're safe to tell me. <sighs> All right. My parents told me never to befriend a commoner. They said commoners are scum, and that they'd crush any that tried to come near me. Hang on, scum? They called me, I mean, commoners. They called us scum? Yeah, but once, a long time ago, I did secretly make friends with one, a boy. When my father found out about him, he disappeared the very next day. I heard he was found beaten half to death. I never saw him again. Since then, I've been terrified of making friends with anyone, commoners especially. I... I never knew that kind of thing really happened. You hear stories, sure, but... Oh, oh Burn, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm proud to be your commoner friend. <laughs> Dorothea! Hey now, relax. There's nothing to ball about. If your dad tried to beat me up, I'd return the favor and then some. Return the favor? When I was in the opera, you better believe I had run-ins with the most wicked, terrible men. I survived kidnappings, attempted murders, all kinds of stuff. But you know what? I broke those guys' arms. Snap! <laughs> it was a thank you for all the trouble they went through trying to hurt me. You're incredible, Dorothea. <laughs> so, now that you know I can defend myself, can we be friends, Burn? All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> 